Hey YouTube, uh, this is Eric. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Transformers Hen K Megatron. And I usually keep this guy in the box. Um, I've taken him out once, transformed him once, and that was about it. You know, just to get a good look at him. Uh, I think he displays well in the box, and I am really paranoid about chrome. Um, you know, the chrome damage. Uh, you know, flaking off and stuff. So I'm going to take him out of the box. I'm going to transform him and do a quick review on him. And uh, you know why I'm going to do that? Because uh, you guys are that special. Really. All right. Whether or not you believe me, you know. Well, I might be blowing some smoke up your ass, but, you know. All right. Taking him out of the case. Not too bad. I mean, you know. I, and I like the way Henke has their cases. I mean, you can put your figures right back if you want. Um... Which I do sometimes. So he's not technically mint in box. Well, he's not technically mint in sealed box, but he's mint in box. All right, so here he is. Um, looking pretty badass. Doesn't have his feet out, though. So let's just get his little feet seized out. Uh, I've had the Classics Megatron since it came out, and I really love that figure. I, you know, I like the transformation because it's challenging. Um, I do screw up. It happens, but we'll see if it happens on camera. Uh, so this is Henke Megatron, a much, much better rep representation of a G1 Megatron as opposed to the classics. The head sculpt is, of course, badass. Um, has that silvery paint on it. Um, the gray is really nice. I mean, I, I don't really understand why the, um, the classics version couldn't at least paint it like this. I mean, I understand that... Toy safety laws make you know you have to have certain colors on the gun, but I mean, when I transform him and you see what the gun looks like, it's, it's based on the the Nerf Maverick. I think there's no way somebody would mistake that for uh, for a real gun, you know. But uh, this is him. He is kind of back heavy because he has these wings. Um, see, he'll fall back, so you kind of have to pose him carefully. Uh, as with most hanky figures, he has the mandatory chrome, which is right here. Uh, not that bad. I mean, it, it it works, but I'm just not a fan of chrome. Oh, and he has chrome here. I'm not a fan of chrome because it, it flakes. Well, you know, with my Beast Wars figures. Um, you know, decent articulation. No ball joints, but he has so many ratchet joints. Uh, well, actually, a ball joint on the head. But he has so many ratchet joints that it kind of makes up for that. Um, get bent out in this even his toes have articulation but the only problem is that he is definitely back heavy um if i could just get him into a pose where he doesn't fall all right i'll kind of get him like that i might have to hold his feet um size comparison size comparison he's the same size as the uh well he's smaller actually than the um, Human Alliance figure, and that's because they're more alternator slash ultra scale. So he is a Voyager, cla a Voyager uh, class figure. Um, he's taller than Prime, though. And I actually, I have the Nemesis Prime mold, but um, I kind of didn't think to get it. Uh, as for his transformation, it can be tricky, and some people call him a shell farmer, but you kind of, you not, you gotta know what you're doing, and um, I kind of do because. I used to transform the uh, classics one all the time. So you fold up his fists, and I like, I like the idea. You know, I think most transformers should do this. More transformers should be able to fold their fists into their arms. And geez, this crap is tight. You have to have nails, which I do, and it makes my fiance jealous. All right. So now that his arms are folded up, we're folding his head. Which I also think is a good use of space to get, you know, get rid of stuff. All right. Let's get this out of here. And you do the same thing on this side. All right. It's going to look like a big jumbled mess for a little while. And, you know, for good reason. All right. Take this from out. All right. So you're going to kind of have to get him into uh, a big jumbled mess like this. All right. Now I'm going to try and remember, I think that uh this goes around you spin this all right now, i mean i haven't I haven't done this in a a little bit so we'll see how i do i know one foot is going to become the barrel i think this foot is gonna uh let's see 
fold up his feet. There we go. I think it's something like that. Crap. Don't tell me I'm having a brain fart. This goes like that. You fold this. Alright, now I can, I can kind of get where I'm going after I do this. I know this goes right here. Alright. Now once I get this in place, I can figure it out. Alright. So, this goes up. Like this. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. There we go. So you got to get that like that. See, I can do it. It's just I kind of have to watch myself do it. And then you close that uh, this part up. Now, this is the part that I, all, I usually get lost on, though, is uh, just what the hell to do with this. I know this part goes down here. I think it flips up. And, ah, uh, crap. I think this goes down. Probably should have practiced this with my Classics Megatron before I went ahead and did this. Alright, this goes up like that. Come on. And then you pull this forward. And once you close it up, there you go. Uh, and it snaps in place. And there we have Henke Megatron in gun mode. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best with transforming him. I can do it. It's just, it's kind of like all random and, you know, if it happens, it happens. Uh, but pretty, very good gun mode as compared to the Classics version. As you can see, the Classics version is not nearly as realistic. I mean, as if this gun could possibly ever be realistic. Um, the hand kit does have that nasty green where that's more clear plastic. Uh, the hand kit kind of replaces the purple more with red. Uh, it has gray. This has an orange tip, which I think is from Toy Safety Laws, where this is just solid black. Although it's kind of a different shade of black. Uh, as for the sight, you can see that it's red. And you still can't see gray through it. It's red on the uh, hand kit. But it's uh, kind of lime green with the Classics version. But overall, I do like the uh, Henke one better. As you can see, for the Classics, they kind of painted this on. The Henke, it's all shiny and sparkly. Um, I do like it. I like this figure. And it clicks. But you, if you put your whole finger in there, at least my finger, it won't click. It clicks after it gets to a certain point. So you kind of just have to put the tip. <laughs> just <laughs> just got to put the tip in. Just put the tip in just a little bit just to see how it feels and there you go, it works. Um, really good figure, I like him, but you know, my logic is I already have classics to display uh, as a gun mode, so I would want to display him in robot mode anyway, which is why I keep him uh, in the box. But I took him out the box, did a quick review for him just because I uh, was kind of bored and realized I hadn't done any hand care reviews. So here he is. Very good figure. Um, I'm not really sure how to, how to have a size comparison for a gun, but, you know, fits in your hand good enough. You kind of point it at people, and I don't think anybody will think it's a real gun. They'll think you're crazy, but that's about it. So, good figure. I really like him. Um, I, I'm not sure how, how much he goes for on eBay because I got him when he first came out, and I paid um, $30, $35 for him. Not sure how much he goes for now, but... If you have to have one uh, one classics Megatron, uh, it'll probably be this one. If not, maybe go for the uh, War for Cybertron Megatron. But this this is the guy right here. This is this is the classics Megatron. This guy, um, you know, he's he's okay. I mean, same mold, but it's amazing how much of a different color. You know, how, how, let me get myself together. It's amazing amazing how much of a difference colors can make. And this, as compared to that, it's pretty obvious. So, I like both of them, but of course this one wins out because it's classic Megatron colors. So, anyway, uh, I'd, I'd pay $60 for them tops. If you can't find them for $60, then, it, then at that point it just depends how much do you want a, a good classic Megatron representation. So, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and as usual... Peace out.